people that are sports people. First off, it's an honor and a privilege to have a sports figure down here, head coach. Monty Williams, what's going on with you? What's up, Space Line Nation? It's a pleasure to have you down here. Uh, we gonna get right into it. You just a lot to unfold. So now you met. You were one of the highest paid coaches last year. Yeah. Despite sixty million. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Despite yep. your record. It was their record. It was their record. Fourteen and sixty-eight. It wasn't my record. They sucked. Not. Oh. Well, we were, you know, it's a, hopefully it's a team effort. That's I guess they can, they can say it's, I'm part of the team, so it's my record, too. I got you. Yeah, so now, all right, so now, what's been going on in the, what's, with your coaching career? Well, and what's going on now? I don't know if y'all have heard, but they recently fired me, so. Yeah, we. Yeah, they let me go, but. We um, didn't want to use those words. No, nah, no, nah, we call, we, we say what it is down here. You know, because they still got to honor the contract, so. You know, they lost out. I still got to get my money, so they don't want to continue with me. And it wasn't like I was taking them jump shots and doing and nothing. Now, it was a, a lot of speculation about why you got fired and everything. Can you Bruh, tell us about they, what happened? They, you know, when a team is underperforming, they always blame that on the coaching staff and not really necessarily the players because, you know, they need the players. That's their cash cows, you know. So they don't want to um, upset the players. But my thing is, it, put me in the game if you want me to. If y'all want to win, if, if, if it's all my fault, put me in the game. Let me shoot some shots. But if I'm not shooting any shots, then let's just blame who 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 was underperforming. And it was the team that was underperforming, Bruh. basically. And so, with the people that came out and said that you should have lost your job oh, for certain things that was said, I was so we can't really even get into that. But underperformance, you know what I'm saying. Will you be coaching again? I'll definitely be coaching again because if y'all don't know, my whole coaching model is to play the game with instinct. Instinct. And that's what I try to teach these players, you know. you What makes a great ball player is getting on the court and playing off an of instinct and feeling the flow of the game. And a lot of these guys couldn't do that. Bruh. And that's why they had such a terrible record. Wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. I tried to teach that, but sometimes you can't <laughs> teach instinct like this. And so now, <laughs> it had came up that it was a fight in the locker room. Can you tell us about that? Was that between you and? wasn't wasn't between me. I wasn't in the locker room fighting. Um, and if there was any fights in the locker room, I didn't see any fights. I would never throw none of my former players under the bus because it was supposed to be like a fight because of the record and what was going on. I mean, loss after if you had a fourteen sixty eight record, you probably be fighting in your household. Oh, but th those things will be expected. So we're not going to highlight any grievances that any players might have had, any foot that was put to ass by me or any other players. Um, but um. I hope I wish them the best, even without me. And if they stay with that record, then we know it wasn't me. But in the event, I wish them the best. And now, before we get you out of here, when they fired you, did they do it in person yeah, or they the did phone? it in person? Um, they said that um, they had been trying to call me. I've been trying to call them. They locked me out of the offices a couple of times. I went down there. I climbed into a back window. But oh, And ultimately, when we got to speak with each other, they said they're going to get that bag to me. So that's why I agreed to give this interview, because I want to tell them, like, um, don't act like y'all don't know where I'm at. I'm at 12. So get that to me. Thank you for coming down here. We hope you get the rest of your money. No contract. You know how they like to find ways to not pay We'll be in court. And I'll be back at the building putting foot to oh. We hope to see you coaching again. Definitely, definitely. And, you know, thank you for coming out. Thanks for having me. Don't poach the coach. <laughs>